everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 3 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Uh, this episode it brings us one step closer to our Wither Farm. Uh, we are building the mob grinder portion of it. Uh, this is the part that will actually be automatically killing the Withers. Uh, uh, beyond this, I'm going to have to set up an automatic wither generator, uh, but that is going to be a future episode. This is the episode that I've looked forward to for uh, quite a while. Uh, to build the mob grinder, we're going to need some draconic cores. Uh, that is going to be four draconium ingots, four gold ingots, and one diamond. I'm going to take this draconic core, put it in the crafting table. This is going to get us our draconic evolution generator. That is going to be four nether bricks, three iron ingots, a vanilla furnace, and that draconic core. Now we are also going to need some withering cores. Now these are four draconium ingots, four of those draconic cores, and one nether star. So we're going to take these two ingredients Place them in the crafting table here, uh, along with three diamond swords. Now, we are missing one more ingredient. That is going to be some awakened draconium blocks, or draconium ingots. So, to get those, we're going to have to take four draconium blocks. That is what the recipe calls for. Uh, it does four, it does not do less. Uh, and we're going to place them in our fusion crafting core. Uh, in our, in our wyvern fusion crafting injectors, we're going to need six draconic cores and that dragon's heart we got from last episode. So we're going to come in here. We're going to flip on this switch and now we got to play the waiting game. Um, some point in the future, I'm going to have to upgrade my uh, generator, uh, but for right now, this is going to chug along very, very slowly. So I'm going to cut here and we will cut back in once this is done. Hey guys, so I am back. Uh, this has taken me way, way longer than I thought it would. Um, as you can see, I'm only at 76% and it is literally, it's been like five, maybe six days, uh, Minecraft days in here and it, it is just very, very so slow going. Uh, so slow, in fact, that I was able to build uh, a brand new reactor, a little bit bigger than uh, my uh, original one over here. Uh, I was able to troubleshoot it and uh, basically uh, get it all up and running. I built pretty much every single block. Uh, I had to build a uh, smell tree again uh, to get some of the blocks. So uh, this is this is way, way, way too slow. Uh, so what I've done is I've set up a second network. This is going to be my fusion network. Um, let's run over here. What we're going to do is we're going to place another flux point on here and we're going to set this one to the fusion network. And I'm hoping this is going to start moving a little bit quicker now. Um, let's see here. Let's double check, make sure it is pulling properly. It is pulling uh, energy from there. So uh, basically it, it was at capacity. Like I was generating, everything I was generating was going right into here. Uh, I suppose I could have gone around and turned some stuff off, but um, I think it is moving a little bit quicker. Uh, so we're going to cut back here, uh, cut here again, and then we will be back shortly. Okay guys, so I am back. That was way, way, way quicker. That only took me probably about one, maybe two minutes. We are on 99% and here we go. It is making that, uh, change, uh, from that, uh, draconium, uh, into the, well, oh, it's been so long, I can't even remember what it was we were making out of it. Um, not an infused draconium, but it is a charged draconium. Um, awakened draconium, that's what we were making. Uh, so let's head over here uh, really quickly. Let's just throw this into the crafting table. We're going to make those ingots. Take them here, we're going to place them in to the crafting table. So this is the mob grinder. It is uh, the draconic evolution generator, uh, three diamond swords, a wyvern core, and four awakened draconium ingots. So now we're going to get to the part, uh, the exciting part, and we're going to drop over here, jump up to my wither uh, cage here. Uh, we're going to come up and uh, did I keep any glass? No, I did. Oh, I, but I did already blocked it off, which is good. Uh, so we're going to place this down here. Uh, now the outside, I'm, I'm calling that a fan. Um, the skull's face inside. We're going to draw in here. You see, uh, you can see there needs a little bit of energy. Uh, so we're just going to take that flux point 
And you know what? Let's use oh, shift and click and let's select that new network. Um, no, let's keep it on Jackal Wolves. Uh, now that that uh, crafting is done, we should be okay. And what I should have done before I came up here, I'm kind of rushing the last little bit of this episode. Uh, now I may have to make this a little bit taller just to time the wither on the way down. Uh, but let's, we're going to go one, two, oop, three, and then one, two, three. There's the wither. wither. We're going to come back out. He's going to drop down and... There we go. He has a, he has a, become live and the wither killer or the mob grinder killed him instantly. And we're going to jump down here. We're going to grab all this stuff. Uh, so that is going to be it for this one, guys. That was the mob grinder for our w automatic wither farm. Uh, I am super happy with it. It worked really, really well. Uh, next step is to set up some automatic uh, wither generators up top, and then they will just you know, drop and die almost instantly. Uh, I was actually quite happy with that uh, drop length as well. So I think we are okay there. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Jackal Wolf. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.